Hey guys, welcome back. This is Shadow Drone. Um, this is going to be my final video of the Infiltrator. And uh, so I'm going to share everything with you. And I'm going to have a question at the end of all this. Maybe one of you guys can help me. Um, like I said, you know, I'm kind of new at this myself. So still learning as we go. Um, as you can see in front of you is the Infiltrator. It is complete now. Uh, I'm going to kind of go over it. I'm running the DJI. NASA version 2, which is an antiquated controller, but it still works quite well. And if you hook it up right and you use all the components that are still available out there, you can get a pretty nice system. So, all right, let's start off with the molding. Okay, the molding is vacuum molded off of a Parrot canopy, uh, which is uh, a quarter of the weight. Uh, the little decal you see there is something my wife came up with with her brother scan and cut printer which is amazing so if you guys want to look into that uh, check it out um, it has the retractable landing gear it has the telemetry transmission which transmits to a DJI ground station which interfaces with a uh, Apple tablet and um, an iPad and with Google overlay so it tells you where the drone is on Google and then of course the long-range telemetry system I mean the uh, video system which transmits telemetry as well as uh, on-screen display which comes from this module um, this is the receiver antenna so you got one laying flat and the other one laying upright and then, of course, you've got the motors, as we all know. In the front, you have the two-axis gimbal with the TVL 1000 camera. And then if you go around to the other side, you get uh, the 01, which is the transmitter number for OpenTX, because if you have multiple transmitters, I mean, multiple receivers on your radio, they're identified by number sequence, and since all I use is the X8R receiver, they're numbered one through five, because I have five of them. And then, of course, a battery voltage unit, which is battery, uh, one that you can buy to test batteries, but it also has a voltage alarm. So I mounted that, and that plugs in to the charging leads uh, of the battery, and then you can set it here to go off if you need to. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you some demonstrations and I'm going to show you what I've done to this thing. Now, as you know, as a stealth drone, you've got to be able to have a stealth mode. Okay, so I managed to get that to work. So I'm going to show you what I've got. Here you see, this is just a standard 10 inch, uh, 7 and a half inch screen or 8 inch screen. And it has built in antennas with two channels, so you can do actually two different cameras, but we don't need that anymore. You have the DJI instrumentation, voltage, and all the other stuff, the battery power, direction, height, azimuth, how much GPS, how many uh, GPS satellites, they're not here because I'm in the house, and the distance from the transmitter. So, and then of course we have the transmitter, okay? So now, I'm going to show you. We're going to power this baby up. Okay. And as I move, I'm going to show you something really cool. To eliminate having to use one of my dials, because the dials I'm using is for the gimbal. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm turning camera up and down and left and right. Okay, and let's move it up, there we go. So if you look at there, you can see it move up and down, and left and right, okay? So that works. So my retracts, my retracts here, the landing gear, was set on this, but I needed this for the gimbal. So what I did is I programmed in an intelligent switch on the landing gear, so when I go above 50% throttle is when this uh, 
drone starts to lift off. After four seconds, the landing gear will automatically retract. Observe. Over 50%, gear comes up, okay? If for whatever reason the drone has to make an emergency landing on its own or I land it, it's all a matter of, oh, that's the camera cap. Anyway, as the drone comes down, eventually it drops to below. As it's coming down, it automatically um, drops the gear, okay? So over 50 at takeoff, gear goes up. As the drone descends, it's on the descending RPMs, gear automatically comes down, okay? So that's one of the other things. Now, the other cool thing is, I'm going to shut off the props, okay? So another thing on this drone is obviously I have the different flight modes, which is on this switch. Altitude hold. Altitude hold. Manual mode. Manual mode. And the first Altitude one. Altitude hold. GPS mode. And GPS mode. This here. Return to launch. Is return to launch, which is my fail safe. Off. Okay. That basically, if the drone is out there and I need it to come home by itself, I flip that switch and it returns home. Okay. And then here are the different control modes for DJI. Course lock mode. Course lock mode. Home lock mode. And home lock mode. Off. Okay. Um, you can look those up. I'm not really too familiar with those. I know one is you set it and then you just pull the stick back and it comes back to you automatically kind of deal. So anyway, and then finally, my stealth switch, which is this, okay? Now, I'm flying this during the day, no big deal, blah, 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 right? And then let's say I want to fly at night. Okay, well obviously at night you need to turn on the lights. See that? Not bad, huh? So the lights come on. So now I'm flying at night, doing my own thing. I want to go into stealth mode so nobody can see my drone. Lights are off. Now, the uh, RC switch that I have installed in there um, can handle a three-way switch, which is what this one actually is. So full forward is main lights, okay? If I go off to, to the third function, then it's off. If I go to the middle, it switches to the infrared lights. Now, the infrared bulbs haven't been installed yet. Those are going to go on a little later. Um, I have to order some more lightweight wiring so I can run extra wiring for the uh, infrared bulbs. But I can switch between infrared and visual light with this switch now. Okay, so right now is visual light and then off and then infrared. So, anyway. Um, just an idea that I'd be cool you know so here it is now the question I have for all of you is simple <laughs> I've been trying to figure out how to bind the Tyrannus using the Bluetooth trainer connection I've seen a bunch of different videos I just cannot seem to figure it out. I set it the way the video says, but it doesn't see the uh, Mac number of the Bluetooth device that I'm trying to connect to. And the reason I need to find that out is to get that head tracker that I built to connect to this, because the head tracker functions through the slave master trainer uh, configuration in the Tyrannus. So the radio has to be the master and the heads up I mean, and the head tracker needs to be the slave, and then when you do that, it communicates using those two channel, three channels through this radio in the trainer function, which then uh, controls the gimbal. So, yeah. So if any one of you guys has any idea or any suggestions, please post, okay? To me, no question is stupid, okay? Because even though you're a novice or you're intermediate or you're advanced there's always something you know that the other person doesn't so anyway so so if any one of you guys can give me some advice I'm all ears alright and then finally I want to bring up something I'm gonna be posting on my on my uh, YouTube I'm sorry 
on my eBay on my eBay site uh, these grips for sale. Now I finally found some really nice uh, material which feels like real leather. It's not real leather because real leather is very difficult to bend and keep um, bent. This material is slightly soft, okay, very grippy, and as you can see with the up close, it looks like leather. And what I've done is I've created the perfect um, stencil for these, okay, and I have my wife print them out on her scan and cut brother printer that allows you to cut things perfectly and once you make a um, original then it can mass produce these. So if any one of you guys is looking for a really nice grip set uh, for your QX7, um, I will be selling those. They're probably going to be about $15 and they're self-adhesive um, and I've, they, they, they stick. Okay, and they, they are a little bit stretchy so you can manipulate them to fit perfectly as you can see they fit perfectly and they stay on okay so if you're interested let me know about that I'm gonna probably be posting that in the next couple of days I've got a few other things I'm gonna be posting on there once I get some time because I've kind of been spending a lot of time on this unit um, uh, to get it done and then hopefully maybe tonight I'll do a test flight and we'll see how that works yeah all right man uh, thanks for watching uh, this is shadow drone if you have any questions feel free to ask if you have any advice on my little issue that'd be great too or at least point me in some direction I'd appreciate it all right guys be safe out there fly safe keep your heads down take care